This coffee table book entitled Born to Be captures the unprecedented journey of maternal and child health in India in the last 25 years. The book draws its inspiration from a Sanskrit phrase, Tat Tvam Asi, that is, Thou art that, meaning all life forms can be identified with the original source. And this book uh, recounts the progress made in reductions in child and maternal mortality from 1990 to 2015 and is a tribute to the dedication of all the frontline workers. And may I now request the Honorable Prime Minister to kindly release the report acting on the call. In 2014, USAID unveiled an action plan titled Acting on the Coal, outlining how it plans to support the 24 priority countries. And ladies and gentlemen, as we emphasize on the role of leadership towards combating this daunting challenge, in Prime Minister Modi, we have an extremely dynamic and a very sensitive leader who is believed in gender equality, and therefore he's always emphasized on the adequacy of good health care and good nutrition for women and children. And I think all present here will agree that a true leader must have a compelling vision to lead, to steer people forward, and to help. And our Prime Minister Modi embodies both this vision and drive, inspiring people, inspiring nations, inspiring the world with his plans. So please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in inviting our Honorable Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi. My colleague, J.P. Nadda, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Sri Ed Masu, Minister of Health, Government of Ethiopia, Honorable Minister from participating countries, representatives of development partners, friends from civil society, private sector, media, academia, national and international speakers, and the esteemed delegates. On behalf of my government and all the co-hosts for this international summit, I warmly welcome you to the Global Call to Action Summit 2015. This is a landmark occasion, and for the first time, the Global Call to Action Summit is being held outside USA. My government is honored to hold this summit. All those delegates who have traveled a long distance to attend this summit, I heartily welcome you to India and to New Delhi. I'm delighted to be with you this morning. This two-day summit celebrating the achievements of the participating countries in the area of maternal and child health was conceptualized to accelerate joint leadership for ending preventable deaths among mothers and children. It will showcase the power of new partnerships, innovations, and systems to bring about improvements in life-saving interventions. I firmly believe that this summit will provide a highly effective platform to address common challenges that will help us achieve the desired goals. How we shape the world in the next 15 years will make the difference between prosperous, optimistic nations 
and insecurity and unrest. I am glad to see 24 nations present here to join together in their commitment to end preventable maternal and child death. This is a call to action to all of us to seize this opportunity and think big. Today, as we gather here to discuss strategies and as we transit from Millennium Development Goals to Sustainable Development Goals, let us acknowledge the sad reality that the world continues to lose about 289,000 mothers and 6.3 million under five children every year. The 24 priority countries participating in this summit contribute nearly 70% of the preventable maternal, maternal and child deaths. For India, with the birth cohort of 26 million, the challenges are formidable. But the commitment to succeed is also as strong what, however, does offer hope is that most of these deaths can be prevented through simple yet effective and proven intervention. This forms the key pact for this summit. This also forms a crucial part of the joint statement issued subsequent to the visit of the U.S. President in January this year, where we agreed to further accelerate the joint leadership to end all preventable maternal and child deaths. Keeping aside the work that still needs to be done, there have been significant achievements on the global front in the areas of maternal and child deaths. Looking at the big picture, we find that in 1990, India's under five mortality rate stood at 126, while the global average was only 90. In 2013, this figure dropped of 49 against the global average 46. Therefore, the gap of the global average reduced from 36 point in 1990 to just three points in 2030, reflecting that India had achieved under five mortality rate decline at an accelerated pace compared to global rate of decline. What this translate into is this, India is like to reach close to achieving the MD, MDG target if the current trend of annual decline is sustained. In addition to this, remarkable achievements, another truly historic accomplishment has been the victory power over polio. India was declared as polio free on 27th March 2014. From being a country which accounted for more than half of the global polio cases, in 2009, to being declared free of the wild polio virus, the journey reflects India's deep commitment to child health. I am also happy to share with you today another major milestone achieved by India. India has eliminated maternal and neonatal tetanus. The validation for this has happened much before, much before the global target date of December 2015. This gives us the confidence to achieve other target targets well before the target date. The sustain the efforts of being polio-free and maternal and neonatal tenters 
pre-nation and the accelerate the full immunization coverage in the country my government has added to the world's largest immunization drive another mission known as mission indra dhanush it focus on vaccinating the left outs it also targets to accelerate the current increase in annual rate of immunization from existing 1% to more than 5% per year this will help us achieve more than 90% coverage by 2020 which otherwise would take more than 25 years at the current pace the first phase has been successfully implemented we want to ensure that no child in india dies of vaccine preventable disease <laughs> india has always partnered with the global efforts on issues of child and maternal health india is the first country to respond to the global commitment to reduce new born mortality subsequent to the launch of global every new born action plan enap at the world health assembly in june 2014 india launch the india new born action plan inap in september 2014 targeting reduction in neonatal mortality rate and still burst to single digit by 2030 india also responded by acting on the first call to action through its commitment on launch of rmnh rmnch plus a this remarkable success in the field of maternal and child health have been possible through our national health mission the mission with its urban and rural health components perhaps one of the largest public health programs in the world has resulted in improved health outcomes 52% of india's under 5 mortality is contributed to be to by deaths of newborns in the first month of life under the nhm our approach emphasizes a continuum of newborn care both at community and facility level our focus has been to get pregnant women to have a safe delivery in our institutions we launch an ambitious program janani suraksha yojana where incentives were given for delivering in public institutions to the beneficiaries directly as a result today more than 75% of the deliveries take place in our institutions this has directly contributed to reduction in maternal mortality we are fully aware that out of pocket expenses remain a key barrier for women to access timely health care and services to overcome this we have launched a program called janani shishu suraksha kalyan under which every woman delivering in a public health institution as well as the newborn is entitled to free and cashless health service with an assured provision of free drugs diagnostic and diet besides free to end through transport this has helped to further improve our institutional deliveries not only are the mothers provided focus health services but individual beneficiaries tagging is being done through the country wide maternal and child health tracking system which ensures close tracking of inputs and outputs at the level of service provision 
more than 92 million mothers and 78 million children have already been registered so far in the system. One of the major concerns is equity. As a step towards ensuring equi equitable health services across regions that suffer from intrastate disparities and to bring about sharper improvements in health outcomes, a total of 184 poorest performing districts all over the country have been identified. Special efforts are being made to put in more resources and focus programs in these areas. One of the flagship programs of my government is the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, the Clean India Campaign. As a part of this large campaign, the Health Ministry had launched the Kaya Kalp Scheme to encourage public health facilities to maintain high standards of hygiene and sanitation as I firmly believe that clean and hygienic environment is the stepping stone to a healthy nation. To save and educate the girl child, we have launched an ambitious program, Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao. We need to ensure that the girl child survives, thrives, and plays a very crucial role in the society. I have witnessed people getting poorer because of unfortunate health episodes. We need to institutionalize a system where marginalized communities receive universal health care and financial protection. We must experiment and learn from each other. India stands ready to boost its commitment and partner with other countries and move forward on our promises to end maternal and child deaths and provide a better life to the adolescent. I invite you to commit to bold measures and hold each other accountable of these promises. As we assemble here, we need to send a very, very strong message not only to ourselves, not only to the 24 countries present here, but to the entire world. The message is our commitment that we will ensure that every woman, every child who can be saved will be saved. We also need to make a clarion call to the world to join hands in taking such steps that would ensure this. India stand committed to not only allocate resources toward this in our country, but also to help the world and all those countries which needed any support. It is my personal vision and my government's firm commitment. While every country present here has something to offer, India also has a wealth of experience. India has done well in many ways and would be extremely happy to share its experience with other countries. Last year, I had made a commitment of assisting the SARC countries in keeping it polio free. We have also made a commitment to provide pentavalent vaccines to such SAR countries as would need it. We will offer whatever experience we have to the world community. India would be happy to assist any country with technology, system, strengthening, and program implementation capsules. We could train personnel and skill them for better management of child sickness in our special newborn care units, as well as share our experience at home based newborn care, India's rich experience in universal immunization, and particularly its experience this year with a mission in the news could be shared with all the countries. We had offered 
this to some our countries earlier. Today, I repeat this offer to all countries present here. This will be apart from our effort to support for polio eradication. I again warmly welcome you all to this important international summit. I hope the next two days would provide a new direction to the global community in its journey towards ending maternal and child death. I wish you a pleasant stay in New Delhi. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.